Hey guys, Jay here with Word of Advice TV, and in this video, I just want to briefly go over compressor wiring. So if for some reason you come out to an air conditioner and the wiring is all apart, or maybe you replaced the part and forgot to take a picture of it before you took all the wires off, this will be for you. So to wire a compressor is actually very simple. First thing you want to do is just look down inside of your compressor and see which color wires come out from your compressor. There's always going to be three of them. So in my case, I got a blue, a white, and a black. And actually that wire there is just really faded out. That's a yellow, but that section on the bottom there looked like a white. So I got a yellow, a blue, and a black. And those three wires are routed into this electrical section right here, along with the condenser fan motor. There's three wires from the fan and three wires from the compressor. So just tug on the wires and look from the top to make sure that you have the right wires. Once you find that you have the right wires from the compressor, just trace where they go. And in your case, if they're off, it's okay. Just figure out which wires are from the compressor. So mine are, this black one right here is from the compressor, this yellow is from the compressor, and this blue wire is from the compressor as well. The black wire with the connector right there is actually screwed into place or secured under that bolt right there. And the yellow wire is also under that bolt right there. Just about every compressor out there is gonna have a black wire. And that black wire always goes to one side of the contactor and then the other wire goes to the other side of the contactor. So in my case, it's a yellow. A lot of times it'll be a red wire or maybe a white wire. That will go to the other side of the contactor. So two of the wires from the compressor go to this little contactor relay, one to one side and one to the other. And the last wire is gonna go to the Herm section on your dual run capacitor. And many times the wire going to the capacitor will be blue, just like this one is on this unit. But different air conditioners will have different color wires. So if you're not sure which wire is from what, if you just take the back of the service door, so this is the service door I took off of this unit. If you look on the back side of it, they should have a wiring diagram on there. Look on the wiring diagram and find the compressor, which is usually gonna be labeled COMP right there, C-O-M-P. That's your compressor right there, and it'll show you, here's the yellow wire, the black, and the blue. It'll show you which wire goes where. So the yellow goes to the contactor, if you follow that line. The blue, actually no, let's go with the black. The black also goes to the contactor on the other side. And then we have the blue wire, and if you trace the blue wire, it goes to the Herm, or the H. That's labeled as H on the capacitor. So we know that the blue wire goes to Herm. And the wire going to the capacitor is always gonna be coming from your start winding. So right there you have the S, that stands for start, C is common, and R is for the run winding. Well guys, and that is how you wire a compressor on an air conditioner. If you have any questions about that, or if you have any further suggestions about what you just saw here, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to mash that like button on the way out, and we'll see you next time. And for those of you still here, I just want to show you how to read the size of an air conditioner. So of course, most HVAC techs will know this, but just in case you don't know this or maybe you forgot, if somebody asks you what's the size of your air conditioner, you're not just going to tell them, you know, it's about three feet high and three feet wide. That's not what they mean by the size of the air conditioner. What they're asking is, what's the tonnage of your air conditioner? So if you go out to your unit and find the nameplate where it has the model and serial, this one's kind of starting to fade out, but you can still see it. You're going to look for a series of two even numbers, which are usually going to be either in the beginning or in the middle. So in my case, it's actually kind of weird. It's in the beginning and the middle, 24 right there. That will be the tonnage of your unit. And what this number means is basically one ton of cooling capacity. So one ton of cooling capacity is 12,000 BTUs per hour. It'll go 12, 24, 36, 48, for one ton, two ton, three ton, four ton, and there's also halves, so there's 1.5 ton, 2.5 tons. For example, if it was an 18 right here, or in the middle, that would be a 1.5 ton unit, or in my case, it's a 24, that means it's a two ton unit. So there you have it. That is how you read the tonnage of your air conditioner outside.